Just imagine, you're currently struggling in one of your courses, but luckily, exam block is just around the corner, so we have a chance at making up for all those lost marks. But then you remember, you have a lot of information you need to memorize. Here, we suggest making full use of the generation effect. But you're probably asking yourself, what is the generation effect? The generation effect describes the phenomenon where we are more likely to remember information better if it is generated by ourselves rather than if it was simply read. To illustrate this, here is a study conducted by Slomeka and Graf in 1978. In this study, participants were given a list of words to remember, and those words were either generated by the participants or simply presented to them. For example, suppose that participants had to remember the word fast. Participants in the self-generation condition had to come up with the answer by themselves, whereas those in the read condition could just read the word. When participants were tested later to see how many they remembered, Slameka and Graf found that those who generated the words remembered more words compared to those who just read them. So, what are the benefits of using the generation effect? The benefits of using the generation effect is that it helps to improve an individual's memory and learning and remembering any type of information that is entering into their brain. In addition, it increases cognitive effort in solving anagrams, completing sentences, and rhymes, which enhances subsequent memory. It also increases our semantic processing in words that have meaning with each other. Lastly, the generation effect allows us to generate new items that are different to one another, so that it enhances later memory for that item. So, how can we use the generation effect in our everyday life? As generating questions and answers is effortful and difficult, most learners do not automatically engage in it when studying. Instead, they engage in passive rereading. Even educational institutions generally believe that the importance of learning lies in making a correct response. Teachers often present the problem and its solution together, as such the class is not given a chance to generate the answer. Therefore, there is a need to teach learners how to use the generation effect while generating questions and answers when revising material. Teachers can provide instructions and model how to generate questions. Signal words and generic questions and stems were found to be the most useful tools to prompt question generation. Generating questions requires students to examine and evaluate learning content, resulting in deeper processing of learning material. Engagement in these active processes enhances information recall, resulting in greater knowledge retention. When generating questions, students can also engage in self-explanation. Self-explanation involves relying on prompts to come up with a solution for explaining the solution to themselves. A study conducted by Wong, Lawson and Keeves in 2002 found students who underwent self-explanation training performed significantly better on measures of problem solving as compared to a control group. Therefore, training is effective in teaching learners how to utilize the generation effect. Other methods, such as using flashcards, were also found to help with the generation effect during study. Flashcards normally have the question on one side and the answer on the other. Learners normally test themselves, generating the answer before checking the other side for feedback. Using flashcards with a question and answer on opposite sides were found to lead to higher recall performance as compared to flashcards, which had questions and answers on the same side. When completing simple mathematical problems, students should solve problems through mental calculation instead of using a calculator. Mental operations were found to produce greater knowledge retention because the mental operations acted as retrieval cues, which aided retrieval practice. To conclude, the generation effect helps us with memory retention. It works in many different contexts, including maths, reading, comprehension, and non-words. And it can be used in classroom settings, self-explanations, flashcards, and mental calculations. And now that you know the secret to success, I wish you the best of luck with your exams.